Hey everybody, my name is Thomas Cooksey and this is the first episode of Behind the Real. All right, um, let's just, uh, let's cut on that one. Let's do that one more time, okay? You're at a 10, I need you at like maybe a 5. Even a 4.5 would, would do, okay? Okay. Hey everybody, my name is uh, Thomas Cooksey and this is the first episode of Behind the Real. All right, thank you for taking the note, but you might have took it a little bit too far. Let's bring it back up to like maybe an 8. How about that, all right? Hey everybody, my name is Thomas Cooksey and this is the first episode of Behind the Real. How was that? That was perfect uh, until you said something. That was, that was a great take, okay? So I have to do it again? Yeah, one more time. I don't want to. Well, you're going to do it again. Oh, I don't. Do it again. Mama, no. Thomas, do it again. Hey everybody, my name is Thomas Cooksey and this is the first episode of Behind the Real. Behind the Real is an RDD series where we break down our short films scene by scene. One episode, we may break down the script and story of a short film, and on another episode, we may break down the cinematography and lighting of a particular scene. And sometimes, we may break down how to make crack cocaine. Now, I'm not saying it's two cups, but Thomas, the ratio... Hey, 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 what, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, it's a tutorial. Now, I'm not saying it's two cups, but the ratio hey, is hey, two hey, to... Hey, Jesus Christ. You want to get us canceled before we start? I'm just giving advice. So we hope you enjoy each episode and get a gem out of each one. On today's episode, we will be breaking down what went into the cinematography of one of our previous short films, Devil in the Red Dress. Devil in the Red Dress was written by my brother, Kerry Jones. It was shot by a great DP named Bradley Credit, and it was directed by myself. If you haven't checked it out yet, please check it out before watching this video to avoid any spoilers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Behind the Reel. All right, so let's get into breaking down these shots. On the first shot, we have the wide shot overhead lighting setup. So in the first shot, we see my brother Kerry Jones here eating dinner, eating a delicious dinner prepared by me uh, with the beautiful Megan Gerard. Now, what we have here is we have a simple overhead lighting setup, tungsten light. Uh, the light we use is the Falcon Eyes, really good light. I suggested if you, if you need an affordable light, it's a bicolor light and we decided to use tungsten because we enjoyed how the tungsten light uh, was reflecting off of the darker skin tones. Uh, so what we did was we, we wrapped that tungsten light with a flag. I think it was a flag or it was duvetine or black wrap. It was one of those. And we used this duvetine around the light so that the lights didn't reflect off the wall and create an overall too bright image. Uh, we wanted to create some depth to the image. We wanted to give the image some contrast. So that's what we use for that. Moving on to the next shot, uh, we have a top light uh, with the right flag on carry. Uh, so you can see that we added a flag to create some depth in the shot to create the shadows on Carrie's face to give it some depth. Uh, we have the light to the right of carry uh, and to the left of Megan. And that's to also create that contrast ratio on his face. And we still use the black wrap so that we could start, we could try to reflect some of that light. Uh, you see the talented uh, Bradley here DPing on, I believe, a black magic camera is what we shot on. In the next shot, we have a top light uh, with the right flag just from a different angle. Uh, so we can see in this image, we can see the flag more on Kerry's right, and uh, we can't really see what it does to his face in this image, but if you watch the short, you'll see exactly what it does. Uh, we have the light, same place. We did not move the light as much when I say we didn't. I'm telling you the truth. We moved it a couple inches in Mega's direction, as well as the other way. In the next image, uh, we basically, this is an image just showing, as you, if you can see it, you can see all of the haze that's getting shot into the room from the haze machine. Uh, now what the haze does is it creates a beautiful atmosphere. Uh, it just gives the, the shot more texture than if you don't use haze. Uh, if you're not familiar with haze, there's a bunch of different options. There's haze in the can. Uh, you can get a haze machine for a really affordable price and it really uh, makes your image pop. Um, and also, I want to point out that the spaghetti I made was legendary. Uh, it was five-star restaurant-style spaghetti. I created it myself. It was hot, 
but that's because the actors didn't get it right on the first take so they need to do better moving on to the next image we have the beautiful megan now we do have a practical light behind her to give her some depth to make her shot more interesting and we have that flag to her right as well to create that contrast ratio on her face uh, which is very important simply because we want to we want to make this shot look interesting and if she's fully bright it doesn't look good uh, we did use tungsten lights on the light behind her as well as the light above because the tungsten light looked better on their uh, warmer skin and it just gave a more better pop now this light does something interesting in the short film and i need you guys to watch the short film to see what it does but it does something really cool and it gives a really cool uh, character trait to the script and on this last image we can see uh, the practical behind megan and we can see on the camera exactly how that practical looks to us while we're filming it um, it gives a really good layer and it just it just gives more layers to the film and we always want to create layers because that creates depth in the image and that makes the image more interesting if you have more to look at and more is interesting it's a really better image ladies and gentlemen this is thomas cooksey and this is the first episode of behind the reel we hope you got some value from this episode please like follow subscribe and share to someone you feel that this video can help this is behind the reel Do we have any uh outro music? Yeah. Uh <clears throat> boom. Ba -da 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 -da. behind the rear. Ba -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Behind the rear. Yeah. Da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Behind the rear. I quit. <laughs>